So I have put this vlog together because I do get quite a lot of frequently asked questions and there's a huge amount of information to give to you about these workbooks. Um, I have a page dedicated to workbook one on my website which is www.hgdesigntocrochet.co.uk and on there you can access all of this information and more. I'm going to run through some of the frequently asked questions that I've been receiving just so that I can solve those, resolve those and then I'm going to run through the packages available for throughout the pre-order time chunk and then after that I am going to talk to you about the payment options and any other little bits and pieces that I've got. Hey designers, welcome to HDDC The Hub. I'm Heather and this is the channel for new and aspiring crochet designers where you can learn how to build an income stream from your crochet. I hope that you are all good, that you're all tickety-boo. If you're brand new, hi, hello and welcome and if you're a returning viewer, welcome back. Okay, today I have yet another vlog for you of course and the subject is all about workbook one. I have got plenty of notes, there is so much information to share with you all about workbook one of the HDDC handbook. So the HDDC handbook is um, an idea that formed in my mind August 2020. Now if you've watched my first vlog of this channel which is the history of um, HDDC and why the hub started, I started making my own designs and I was showing them on my YouTube channel HD Designed Crochet and from there I started to get requests not only for the designs but also how did I publish my patterns and so then it formed the idea I was sat there one day and um, after one of my Tribe Star talks which is my Patreon um, Zoom chats and I was half listening to a vlog I watch vlogs on a variety of different subjects and I was listening to a lady talking about creating informational products and it just clicked in my head I literally had just had one of my tribe stars um, say to me how do you do it and then I just thought but I can teach everybody how to do it because I learned I taught myself so and from there the idea was formed back in August 2020 I'd only just published my first pattern. I think I published my first pattern on the 7th of August and then on the third Saturday of that month that's when we had the Tribe Star chat and this idea formed and I was up till about two three o'clock in the morning um, writing out plan ideas. It was just all there, it all just came out and I literally wrote it all out, I went in depth and I realised that with the amount of stuff I wanted to cover that I was going to have to split the handbook down so over the next couple of weeks I started to really refine the idea and I settled on four separate workbooks. So workbook one is how to size grade your designs. Workbook two is how to successfully launch your pattern. Workbook three is your business foundations and workbook four is your business growth. And as I said, I chose to start with the size grading because that is the entry point where you think, right, I want to start selling my patterns, how do I do that? And then you naturally go on to um, launching your pattern. And then from there, you then start to think, right, how can I put processes in place? How can I make this an actual business that I can rely on? And then how do I grow that? So that is why I picked that particular order. It's very logical and natural, a natural progression to go through the workbooks in that way. Um, and so workbook one is the one that I started on the first and that is how to size grade. So in layman's terms, that means that you take your design idea and you apply calculations and after that, you then have your nine sizes from extra small to five extra large, which you can then go on and have tested, tech edited and launched for sale.
So workbook one is a 130 page self-paced study guide. It's in a downloadable PDF format. So once purchased, you get a download link and then you have that PDF that you can put into your Google Drive or your Kindle and use it from there. It covers how you transform your design into a pattern. So this goes from your design idea, from copyright and inspiration to the design elements, all the way through to size grading it using a spreadsheet and within the workbook, I have step-by-step -step processes. So I show you exactly how to set up your spreadsheet pages, exactly how to format it so that it works in a logical order. I show you step-by-step -step how I grade a pattern. I actually grade this pattern, it's called example, because it's the example in the workbook. And I use this throughout. And what I do is step-by-step -step, everything that I do, every button formula I input, I show you. And there are also screenshots so you can see it taking shape as I go along. And then I also then show you how you can then apply the formulas that are in there to your own pattern and your own design. I chose to use a very simple um, jumper or sweater at the start so that you could really get to grips with the simple concept. And then from there you can then apply it to your own patterns. So I show you how to swatch what measurements you need, how to input all of that, and then from there, step by step, this is formed. Once you've inputted everything and you've size graded, you then make your sample. So this is the sample that I made, and this is in size two within the HGDC sizing, so that is a size small for everybody else. Um, and I followed my spreadsheet instructions and this is what was created. So the workbook is filled with loads of resources for you to use. It's a resource that you can keep going back to. It's filled with symbol and formula grab sheets so that you can have that one sheet. You can print that one sheet out if it's helpful for you to do so. You can put it on your wall and then when it comes to size grading for yourself, you've got it there as a quick and simple reference. I also have a step-by-step -step process of um, where to start in the size grading process and system so that you can then apply that to your own pattern. My goal with this workbook was to make something that can feel really overwhelming, um, to be actually like demystified, all the jargon is clearly set out for you and so that you know that I'm there step by step cheering you on and helping you get through so that you can get your own pattern out there. There's also some supporting videos to go along with some of the things that are in the workbook, such as how to set up your spreadsheet, how to use the basic formulas. Sometimes it's a lot easier to get things across in a video format. The reason I chose not to do the entire course in a video format is because by the time you add in all of my time, and all of the hours it would take to make 130 pages step by step into a video course, it would quadruple the price of the workbook and I wanted the workbook to be accessible for everyone. I want it to be seen as a entry point for the beginner. I want it to be that no matter who you are or where you are that you can access this and you can get started. And I have made it very, very clear within the workbook that I want you to continue learning afterwards but in order to continue learning you actually have to start learning and that's what the workbook is there for. So workbook one has been tech edited and it has also been tested by 11 beta testers. They're all at various stages. I had one person who has flown through and had her pattern out within it felt like minutes and I've already done her one-to-one -one zoom review with her and it was absolutely life-giving to see somebody so excited and to know that I really helped to do that. I chose to have the workbook tech edited and tested because that is what I do for patterns that I put out there. It seemed a little bit odd to just get this pattern tech edited and tested but not the absolutely huge workbook that I've spent hours and hours writing so I made the decision to do that. I also feel that it needed to be tech edited and checked over because it's 130 pages. It's very easy for typos to creep in because 130 pages later. Um, it's also, I feel, adds a confidence factor because you know it's been checked by a tech editor, you know that it actually works. 
um, and then also the fact that this is now an actual pattern so I used it as an example within the workbook and I joked whilst I was writing it that I may as well release the pattern as well and so I decided to do that um, and so currently the pattern is being tested and they will be finished um, early April and the, the beta testers are also going through testing as well as I said one has finished all the others are at various stages it's all so so promising to see I have had some amazing testimonials come through I've been posting about them on my Instagram they are also on my website um, I am so so grateful that the beta testers have took the time to do this and also share their feedback and to hear how it's improving them as a designer how it's changing the game for them how now they can add another income stream like that's what i set out to do and i'm really proud that that's what the workbook is doing already okay so who is workbook one for and who is it not for starting with who it's for workbook one is for you if you acknowledge that you are a beginner crochet designer. So maybe you've put out some accessory patterns, maybe you have some ideas for designs or that you would like to start designing crochet patterns or knitwear patterns. Knitting is not excluded. Um, it's also for you if you're experienced at making crochet garments, maybe you've purchased a lot of other people's patterns or you've made them from magazines. And so you have a general understanding of construction um, you have an understanding of stitches and gauge. I go into detail about all of that within the workbook and why it's important, but you will only help yourself if you have made um, garments before, even if you haven't purchased somebody's garment before, because I've never made a crochet garment before I made my own. However, I had made a couple of knitted ones, um, which you can cross apply, but also I had made designs for myself. And so I had an understanding of construction and sizing because of that. And that may also be the same for you as well. Workbook one is also for you if you are willing to learn and put the effort in. It is magic in that you can use a spreadsheet and it does the math and the calculation for you. However, you still need to put the work in. You still need to do that. You still need to learn the construction and you still need to make a sample or have somebody make them for you. And workbook one is also for you if you want to build an additional income stream from your crochet, whether this is your first income stream from your crochet or whether you want to add it to the fact that you already make patterns or you already make designs and you sell them, as in you make the physical jumper and you sell it or you make headbands, earrings, whatever it is, but you want to add another stream of income and if you've been here for any amount of time and on my other channel, you'll know that I really advocate having multiple streams of income because of the security it gives you. So you have to start somewhere, start building a stream of income, but this is a great place to start if that is what you want to do. It's also for you, not only if you want to build that income stream, but you want to continue to nurture it. There is a lot to learn as a crochet designer. It's not a case of, okay, I know how to put patterns out. That's it, I'll wait for the money to come in. You have to continually learn. You have to continue nurture it and evolve. And that is why there are so many workbooks after this. And also if you look at other people's courses and other providers, they have multiple modules and it's because it isn't just one aspect, it's multifaceted and there are, there is so much to learn and get to grips with. But don't worry, you don't need to do all of that in one day. You build upon it, which is why you want to continue nurturing that income stream. Okay, so workbook one is not for you if you are looking for a get rich quick scheme. Mm -mm, I'm sorry, but it's not. You have to put work in, you have to put effort in. It's not a case of you just put patterns out there and in comes all of the money. There are so many different factors and variables. And like I said, you really need to nurture this. You are not guaranteed sales just because you purchased this workbook. There is a whole lot more that goes into that. And that is why there I have created this entire channel specifically for crochet designers and those building in income streams from their crochet. And on top of that, there is also all of the variables that come along with being an individual as well. So um, where you live, 
how many followers you've got, all these different things all build a picture. Now it doesn't matter what country you're in, it doesn't matter if you only have 100 followers, you can still be successful. But person by person, that picture differs. And so it's not for you if you're just thinking, I'm gonna do this and I'll get rich quick off it. It doesn't work like that. It's also not for you if you're not willing to begin as a learner. Everybody has to begin as a learner and that means that there is a huge amount of information in here to learn, a huge amount of information to get to grips with. There's gonna be times when you think, I can't do this, I don't wanna do this, and you have to step back. But the main thing is, is that you come back because you are a learner. Um, and in other vlogs that I've made, such as um, the time that it takes to put out a pattern, I stated in there that the first time you grade a garment it could take you a couple of months because of the amount of information to learn, getting to grips with the processes and then applying that to your own garment. It's a lot and there will be a lot of false starts on things that you think you got right and you might need to tweak. However, having said that, it took me 18 months to be able to do this the first time around because I had no idea where to start and I didn't have this workbook to guide me. If you are uber focused and your circumstances allow it, you could get your pattern out there really, really quick. My first workbook tester did so within a couple of weeks, like literally just knocked it out of the park. And that could be you too. If you're not willing to be a learner and you expect to be an expert straight away, it's not for you and this workbook isn't for you if you want a third party to grade your garments for you a spreadsheet is a magical tool to use but ultimately you have to put input all of the information you have to un understand the construction and you have to put all of that information in if you don't the spreadsheet can't do it for you so if you don't want to learn how to do that yourself you can ask a tech editor to just grade your patterns for you and then you won't have to learn. That has a cost um, attributed to it, but everything has a cost. And if that's what you choose to do, you go do that. Okay, so how do you get a copy of your workbook? Well, at the moment, pre-orders have opened and there's two packages available. So pre-orders are running from the 22nd of March, 2021 until the 2nd of April, 2021, which is just under two weeks. So you've got until Easter if you're watching this within March right now or early April. Um, there are two packages available. So you can head over to my website, www.hddesigncrochet.co.uk or .com. They will both take you there and there is an entire page for workbook one which looks so pretty <laughs> i have got two packages there supernova and stargazer so supernova is the bigger package starting with stargazer that is where you get a copy of workbook one so you will get the download link which gives you the 130 page workbook guide with all of the links to the supporting videos as well as um, all of the grab sheets that are within the 130 pages. It is all there for you. And you also get a copy of this pattern, which is example. Two reasons for that. One, because I wanted to show that the example that I use in there does actually work. And also you could follow the spreadsheet because it is all there in screenshots and you could make your own size anyway. So to make it easy for you, you also get a copy of this pattern. I think that's a really nice touch that you see it from the start when it literally was a design idea and I fill out my design specification sheet and then you then are given the final pattern at the end of it as well. Um, so that is the Stargazer package. It's got everything there that you need to get started in grading your own patterns. And then we have the Supernova package. Within the Supernova package, you get your download link to workbook one. You also get a copy of this pattern example. And on top of that, you also get additional support. You also have three months access to the Hubs private group. So that is a community where you and new crochet designers can all share the difficulties that you're facing, that you can seek further support, that you can form groups within yourself so that you can promote and support each other's patterns, which means that if you need testers, you can share each other's um, 
posts and that you can really be there for each other. It's a huge, huge learning curve. So being able to share that with someone makes a big difference. And I know that the um, tester, the beta testers really enjoyed having a private group because it's somewhere that you could um, reach out to people. People could post questions, but then also it meant that you could then individually message someone and say, I saw that you were doing a design and it has an element that is in my design. Can we, can we talk about it? I don't know how to get around this. And that is invaluable to have that support. It's something that I've never had when making my designs because I didn't have designer friends around me and it would have made a huge, huge difference. I taught myself using books, video um, on YouTube and basically trial and error. So to have somebody there in the background cheering you on would really make a big difference. Um, the days where it's really winding you up I would have loved to have had someone being like, you know, look how far you've come and look what you've done and kind of help you with this. So you will get your three months private group access. I'm not going to reopen that group until after June 2021. I just want the first set of supernovas to come in and to be able to really give my undivided attention um, to see how the group runs and to see what additional things I can put in place as support. So that is going to be closed. You can only get access to that by becoming a supernova during the pre-order. And there's only 30 supernova spots available. So although the workbook will always be available, the supernova won't always be available. It has been limited because there's only one of me. And within the supernova, you also get a one-to-one -one, um, video call for your pattern review. So once your pattern is finalized, you send that over to me and I'll go through it, review it, and then speak to you in a 20 minute Zoom call so that we can go through anything that you can maybe tweak um, so that I can tell you all the things that I'm loving about your pattern. And so you can share anything that you'd want to give to me in feedback. Maybe there's something out there that you would want further information on and I can help with that. So there's 30 of those slots available. And on top of that, there is also the question and answer drop-ins that I'm going to have with tech editors. So if you have a burning question or something that you are stuck on with your um, pattern, something in the spreadsheet that's just not making sense for you, then not only am I there to try and help where I can, but ultimately, because I'm not a tech editor, but there will be a tech editor where you can pre-send in any queries you've got and then drop in and they'll be able to talk you through the issues that they've had sent, which means that you might have a very small stumbling block and they can give you some guidance and from there you can then go on and get your pattern finalised. Again, something that I would love to have had access to. Before I started working with my tech editor, there was no one that I could message and say, I'm not sure on this construction or how would you go about this? Um, they're not going to do the grading for you, but it might just be that they can give you a couple of steps or the best way to go about grading something in a way that just makes sense and helps you get it done. Because that is then a group Zoom call, it means that the, the cost is covered by the group as opposed to you needing to pay the hourly cost, which means it's really super accessible for everybody. So that's the two packages available and all of the pricing information and the value of the packages is actually listed on the sales page, which again is at www.hddesigncrochet.co.uk. Just a few rules in terms of the workbooks. I do not want anybody to put themselves into debt or a financially vulnerable position to obtain a copy of the workbook. Yes, I want you to purchase a copy. Yes, pre-orders mean that you get a discount. And yes, there are only 30 spots for the Supernova package. However, workbook one will always be available. So once the pre-orders finish after the 2nd of April, they will then be sent out on the 19th and then the workbook will go on general sale from the 24th of April. That means that you can purchase it. It won't be as um, discounted as what the pre-orders are, but you will still be able to purchase it. And then after the 24th of May, it will go up to its full price. But if you're going to put yourself into debt or potentially a financially difficult position for this workbook, I want to urge you to consider holding off and saving for it. Like, just don't put yourself in that position. 
It's always going to be here for you. And my whole aim for the hub is to support and help people that want to build income streams. I don't want anybody to put themselves in a financial position where they're then compromised. In terms of payment options, there isn't any available on my website. However, I am looking into it and I am looking at moving my website to another provider at some point for other reasons I'll get into, but it means there'll be payment options available. However, right now, because I accept payment through PayPal, that means that you can pay in installments of three. So they have this thing, the power of three. It means that if you're eligible, when you go to checkout, it will say to you, do you want to pay in three installments? Now, HDDC and The Hub have no control over that. That is basically up to PayPal, whether they feel you're eligible, whether they want to offer that to you. But it means that you could potentially split the cost of the packages into three months. Um, or alternatively, you could save up a chunk of money over the next three months and purchase it in three months time. PayPal does another option where you can defer payment for up to four months. Um, I don't know what fees are in there. And again, please tread with caution. Just because it's there doesn't mean that you should take it. Um, I would rather that you could pay this outright or that you'd be able to save up for it. Um, as much as I want sales, like I just don't want you to be in that difficult position. I've been there, I know what it's like, don't do it. I have an FAQ section on the sales page. I'm going to quickly run through some of the most commonly asked just to settle them and resolve them here. Number one, can knitters purchase this workbook? Absolutely yes, of course you can. However, I am a crocheter first and I wrote it using the term crocheter. You can swap out crochet and use knitting, um, but as you will appreciate, there is a difference between knitting and crocheting. So if you are a knitter, you need to be able to understand crochet before you then go through this workbook because if you don't, then some of the principles might get lost in translation because crochet acts ever so slightly different to what knitting does. Having said that, one of my testers is using the, the workbook on a knitted pattern, so absolutely, yes, you can use it. Another frequently asked question is, how long can you access the workbook for and um, is there a printed version? So you can access the workbook for life. Once you've purchased it, you have always got access to it. If you misplace your downloaded copy or your link expires, if you email, then we will get another one sent out to you. That is no problem. You just need to send proof of purchase. So the email and the date that you purchased and I'll sort that out. That is no problem. If there's any updates in the future, then I'm gonna make sure that everybody has access to those that has already purchased as well. So whether I add stuff in, whether whatever it is, you will get that. And in terms of the printed version, at the moment it's only available as a PDF. So that means that you download the document. I don't print it and send out the physical document. Now, I know a lot of people would prefer the printed version, but hear me out. My reasons for not doing so is because, because it's 130 pages, which is a very substantial document, it is huge. That means that the document has quite a substantial weight, which then means that there's gonna be some quite hefty postage fees on top of that. And not only that, it then means that when I update it in the future, it's then going to be quite difficult to send just the updates out. Um, logistically, it works so much easier to have a PDF that you download. Once you've downloaded your copy, then that means you can save it to whichever devices you like. Um, if you choose to, you can print that at home and that's no problem. I have actually printed my copy of the workbook out. That's the front cover and as you can see, that is how many pages are in workbook one. Now there is a lot of screenshots in there because I do a step-by-step -step of Excel and that means that there is quite a lot of um, colourful pages in there. You can print it in black and white. I've printed the majority of my workbook in greyscale, black and white, and it's come out perfectly fine. 
however it's 130 pages so that is a lot of ink and a lot of paper and not everybody works with the physical format I get that it is an individual choice I am a paper and pen person that's why I chose to print it out however I will also admit that I do quite like having the digital copy and if you have a tablet or an iPad your phone whatever it is you can put it on there I do also recommend that you use two screens because then that makes it a whole lot easier so have your workbook for on your phone for example and then use your tablet or your laptop to do the grading I have never graded on my phone using Excel or Google Sheets because the screen is so small that it becomes infinitely frustrating and so it is really useful to have a tablet um, or a laptop and you can always plug in your TV or an additional monitor to your Mac or laptop so that you can have two screens on going. So I actually just airdrop to the smart TV that's here in my yarn room and I use that as an additional monitor and then when I'm crocheting I watch YouTube on it. Why am I telling you that? Yeah. There are more frequently asked questions which are listed on the sales page and again the links below so you can go and check those out and if you have any more questions you can email me. The email address is below, it is hub at hgdesignscrochet.co.uk and then I'll get back to you with an answer as quick as I can. And whilst we're talking about the workbook I also wanted to run through the cost um, for myself to put the workbook together. So as I said, I've put it together because I wish it existed when I was learning to size grade. And on my vision board, it says, create the things you wish existed. And that is exactly what I have done with this and the subsequent workbooks. Now, the workbook isn't a free resource because it is my systems, my trials, my errors, all of my tears, all of my hard work. And I wanted to talk about some of the financial and other input that I have put into this workbook to get it where it is today, a resource that helps new and aspiring crochet designers. Workbook one was an idea back in August 2020 and now here we are in March 2021 and it's going through the testing process. At the time I had a full-time corporate job and so I made the decision to do a couple of hours in the morning and a couple of hours in the evening for HDDC. Now the couple of hours in the morning was when I would get up and I would write the next section for workbook one. I know that I have put in over 300 hours of time, of my time, to write out this workbook. All of the content in the workbook is included in those 300 hours. It doesn't then include the videos that I've recorded. It doesn't include the affiliate links um, page that I've set up. It doesn't include the time of the testers. Once I start putting all of that together, I've easily put one to two months worth of my time in there as a full-time job. I've only been a full-time crochet designer for just over one month. So I have put in a lot of time whilst I was part-time as well. I paid for workbook one to be tech edited. That is a cost that I would pay two, three times over because the input from my tech editor is invaluable. Picking up on the mistakes, checking that my spreadsheet is correct. That also included the grading for this pattern as well. So I feel like I got an absolute bargain. And then it also gives it that seal of confidence when it comes to you that this has been checked by other professionals and it works. And I also chose to have it tested. The reason I chose to have it tested is because I wanted to see whether it actually helped and worked for other people. Otherwise, what's the point, right? And I wanted to do that on a much more micro scale so that I could have a lot of input and feedback from these people. And, and also so that I could then put a lot of my own input into each tester. So I actually was looking for 10. I ended up having 11 um, workbook testers and I'm really, really pleased with each and every single one. Every single one has a different level of experience. You have some that have a huge Instagram following. You have some that have a small Instagram following with a private page. You have some that are doing it because um, of their own health circumstances. This is a lifestyle and a job that would suit them. You have 
others doing it to build an additional income stream. So I really covered a, like a diverse range of people. Um, and that's been really, really helpful to see what their pain points are, where they may have struggled, how I can put additional resources into this to help so that more people can get through this really, really simply. Each of my beta testers also got a one-to-one -one pattern review and some of those are still ongoing because some beta testers are still in the testing stage and that has been really, really invaluable and that is actually what inspired me to set up the Supernova package because I know that for some people that's really spurred them on because that's given them a, almost a deadline. Even though we haven't set a date that we're going to do the Zoom call, they know that that's there and they want to really use that opportunity to really improve on their designs. Now, because my beta testers are not being paid to test, I'm not being paid to do the reviews and whatnot. It's both of our time that we're exchanging. And so again, that's even more of my time that has gone into the creation of the workbooks. I also chose to commission some bespoke artwork and I'll put the name of my wonderful designer on the screen for you um, and some of the images so that you can see them. The reason I chose to do that is because I wanted workbook one to be um, a premium resource that you could turn to. I didn't want to just use clip art images because I really wanted to illustrate my point in the way that worked for me and works for you within the workbook. How many times can you say work? Work, 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 work. So for that reason, I chose to go with bespoke artwork. It isn't something that I needed to pay out for. It was a conscious decision and one that was intentionally made because I feel that it adds to the workbook um, in a whole other level. This is not just something that you can get off Google. This is full of my processes, my thoughts, my systems as a full-time crochet designer. These are the systems and processes that took me from part-time with a corporate job well, I started as corporate job just trying it out to then part-time designer, full-time corporate job to then full-time crochet designer. And the artwork really reflects that, that I've chose to invest in this workbook just in the way that you are as well. And then on top of that, I have also made the decision that I was going to have a website. I did that very early on because I also wanted my patterns, but I knew that it was very, very important for me to have my own platform to sell the workbooks because it's a digital informational product and I wanted better control over the fees. I wanted to be able to send emails for when it was ready and all of these things. I then also chose to invest in Flowdesk, which is where I do my email management, as well as Canva, which is where I write up all of my patterns and my workbooks and on and on and on. I also invested in a course because I wanted to learn how to go about launching a product on this scale, which I am so glad I did. That cost me £375. I cannot advocate enough how much you need to invest in yourself and continue to learn. And I know that because I've now done that course, I will use some of that information to promote my patterns and that it will just keep on giving back to me. I also paid for a non-disclosure agreement. Now that's where the beta testers have signed a document to say that they're not going to publish or steal or sell my idea for the workbook and the reason I chose to do that is because of the level of time and cost that I put into the workbook. I trust each and every one of my testers, I don't think they would do that to me, however I didn't want to take the chance that if something happened I wouldn't have any coverage at all. Um, I do have a legal qualification, I've got a law degree, I did my postgraduate in law, so for me I'm quite comfortable with those things and I was a little bit hesitant thinking it might put my testers off but actually I think they prefer just knowing where they stand and what they can and can't share and exactly what is expected of them and exactly what I'm going to give back in return. So I also spent £175 on that being drafted. Something that I could have done myself because I do have the legal background but but I chose to have that drafted because I wanted to cover certain aspects. So when you add all of that up, I have spent around a grand, £1,000 in producing workbook one. And some of the costs that, are go that have gone in, such as website fees and whatnot, are ongoing and in part help out the rest of HDDC in terms of patterns. So it's not solely all attributed towards the workbook, but the bulk of it is because of the workbook. 
So I put in all of that time and all of that effort because I am adamant that I'm going to teach as many people as possible how to invest in themselves and how to build their own income streams from their crochet. I hope by going through those costs that it shows um, a bit more transparency of the time and effort that's gone in, that this isn't just some simple document that you could get off Google, that it has got a lot, a lot of hard work, experience, trial and error processes, and the level of testing that it's gone through as well is really, really rigorous. Hopefully by going through that, you've got a little bit more understanding of the costs and also the packages that are available, that you'll have um, an even better understanding of the value that is being offered to you there. I've said it so many times, but if I went back to my start of um, 2018 when I wanted to put patterns out, if I had this workbook available, I would have paid four, five, six times the amount to get hold of this workbook because I know that I could make this investment back multiple times over and I have actually shown how much I made from my first pattern revival through from August to December so that was the first year of becoming a crochet designer and I have shown you actual screenshots from my platforms to show you how much money I made and even with the cost of this the cost of the pattern such as the tech editing eclipsed it like you can make so so much more and that was just from one pattern also another thing that i've put in place is an affiliate link scheme now the reason i've chosen to do this is because of my why for the hub as you know i hope you know at this stage the reason i set up the hub is because i want to help as many people as possible i know that by teaching as many people and in all honesty the majority of my audience is female so by teaching as many women as possible to build income streams from their crochet whether that be pattern sales or more that I've got in the works ready for you whatever that is that that will change society because the more people that have financial freedom the more people that have a say over their lifestyle the more people that can be there in the ways that they want to and shop in the way that they want to within their life the more opportunities that you can take the differences that that will have for your family for your friends for your children for your loved ones for your relatives and for the community because the more of us that are designing the more tech editors that are being um hired the more design services we're looking for the more that we the more that I help people do that, the more that I change society. And that is why I've chosen to do this. I would not have spent the amount of money I have on putting that workbook out there if it, this wasn't so, so important to me. I could have done it on a zero budget. It wouldn't look as good. It wouldn't have been tested. It wouldn't have been tech edited. It wouldn't be the product that it is now. And so I've chose to put that investment in to help people. And so I have also chosen to set up an affiliate link scheme. Now, I'm sure that you are all pretty aware of influencers and that a lot of influencers will say, swipe up for my link, it's an affiliate link. If you press it, you won't pay any extra, but I'll earn some money from the sale. And it's pretty much similar there. So in this respect, you purchase the workbook and then you apply to be an affiliate. As long as you are eligible under the hub and HDDC's criteria, you will then be accepted as an affiliate. So for example, the bead testers are all affiliates if they've chosen to be. And that means that when they say to you, I have used this product and I genuinely think it's a great product and pre-orders are open or you can purchase it here. Here is the link, it's in my bio, you can swipe up, whatever. When you click that and you purchase, it means that that tester that affiliate then gets eight percent of the sale so and i'm going to pick a random number here i'm going to say for example that a purchase goes through and it's a hundred pound i've picked that because it's a round number eight percent means that the affiliate gets eight pound which then means that not only have you got the opportunity to earn money from your own patterns but you're also then getting an income stream from the affiliate links 
and that's really really important to me because then that means that that designer has two income streams from their crochet one from selling the patterns two from the affiliate link and then three if they choose to make the item and sell it themselves as well and as you know then that means you've got more financial security and i will keep going on about that until everyone around me has multiple streams of income all of my beta testers are affiliates if they've chosen to do so and then that means that as long as they are genuinely happy with the product which they all are then they can um give the link the reason that's important to me is because all of my beta testers have been singing its praises anyway and they have been telling people all about it even before they knew that there was going to be an affiliate link scheme even before they knew how much commission they were likely to make and that is my way of being able to give back because when you talk highly about somebody's product that means that more people trust it and that means that I'm going to get more sales, which means that I can continue doing what I'm doing, which is help more and more people. And the more people that hear about it, the more people I can help. And so that is just an infinite cycle that I really want to continue. Once you've purchased the workbook, you can apply to be an affiliate. And supposing you are happy with the product, which if you're gonna be an affiliate, I imagine you are, then that means that you can earn commission off of sales as well. I'm not going to say that you are guaranteed income. It solely depends on your audience, but it's another option to make your investment back and to continue to make income going forward. Okay, I think I have covered everything I need to cover for the workbook one at this moment in time. You can get more information on my website, www.hgdesignscrochet.co.uk and you can also email me. All of the details are below and I am going to say thank you for listening. I hope that you choose to invest and get yourself a copy of the workbook, whichever package it is that you want. And also, I just want to say that my name's Heather and that I help crochet designers new and aspiring to build income streams from their crochet. So on that note, toodle pip, bye.